Hey everyone, it's Kenji. Lunch today is in the parking lot of the Home Depot up on Aurora Ave uh, in Seattle. I came here today to pick up a leaf blower and when I parked my car, I got out of my car, I heard someone saying tacos, I heard someone saying tamales, and I looked over, there was a silver minivan parked there with the trunk open and a bunch of uh, aluminum pots and coolers inside, and that is always a good sign that you're about to have some really good Mexican food. So I stopped over, I talked to them, turned out it was my friend Joanna, who I first met here uh, about nine months ago, and I had her uh, tamales back then, blown away by them. I've had them from her a couple times since then. Um, and today, what was strange was that it was one o'clock and she was still here. Normally in the past, she had been here and she'd set up early in the morning and be done by around 9.30 or so. All her food would be gone by around 9.30. Today, she was here by one o'clock. So I talked to her about that. And she said, ever since I posted about her, uh, business has picked up to the point that she can now stay open all through lunch and customers will, will continue coming. Uh, so she decided to expand her menu, serve more food and stay open longer. Um, which I think is wonderful. It's really kind of, honestly, really heartwarming. It's really nice to see her business doing well. So now she doesn't just do uh, tamales and tacos. She does those, of course, still, but she also now has these delicious taquitos, which are essentially kind of rolled corn tortillas wrapped around birria, so uh, braised beef, braised shredded beef that are deep fried and then topped with sour cream and cotija cheese and lettuce. Mm. And this nice red salsa. She now does quesadillas as well. Uh, she now does um, barbacoa and birria tacos. Um, she also serves a big thermos full of uh, champurado. So it's basically like a full-on food truck meal menu that she serves currently out of the back of her van. You know, I talked to her, she said her goal right now is to make enough money so that she can start her own truck uh, and have sort of a, you know, a real full-fledged business with a space to act an actual space to serve it out of instead of just uh, the back of a van. Although I kind of like back of the van tamales. Um, speaking of those tamales, she has three different kinds. They are three for 10 bucks or six for 15, which is like, what a steal, right? Six for $15 for huge tamales. They're big tamales. They're probably half a pound each. Three different choices. She has this chicken with uh, green sauce. It's a little bit spicy, shredded chicken. She has rajas, poblano peppers with cheese. And then she also has the birria, the braised beef inside uh, the tamales. They are, all three of them are excellent. Well, the first time I came here nine months ago, I, I wrote on Instagram that it was the best tacos I'd had uh, in Seattle because the tortillas were handmade, were still hot and fresh, really nice and pliable, really delicious. And the fillings were delicious. The salsas were great. Um, I still maintain that Joanna makes some of the best tacos in the Seattle area. Uh, so anyhow, um, Yes, come to the parking lot of Home Depot uh, up on Aurora. Come in the morning and I guess now early afternoon. You can find Joanna. Uh, she's here most days of the week. Uh, and if not, you can just go in and get yourself a leaf blower and a bag of chips or something. And, and by the way, in case anybody's worried, I did talk to her about uh, taking pictures, about sharing uh, when she's here. She has no problem with it, she said. So um, I always want to make sure about stuff like that, especially, you know, when <laughs> when you're running a business out of the back of your car. I don't want to get any, anyone in trouble here. So anyhow, uh, Joanna, come here, see her, get some tacos, get some tamales, get all the good stuff. It's all really, cheap. the taquitos were four for 10 bucks. Uh, it's all it's all really inexpensive and really, really delicious. All homemade, handmade stuff. I'm, I don't know how you can get a better meal than that, right? All right, Joanna, wonderful woman. Help her get a food truck going. And uh, yeah, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you around the parking lot of Home Depot. Guys, gals, non-binary pals. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.